Hey YouTubers, well it's been a long time coming. I'm finally getting around to talking about inserts for the Domkey F2. You know, I've shot a number of videos including this bag, but I've never quite done a review of it. So let me say just a couple of things about it uh, while I have it on my hip. First off, you can see it's a good size bag and um, I generally have used it for either medium format gear, meaning my uh, Hasselblad setup, or I've used it for traveling if I want to take a whole bunch of gear with me and I've done videos on just how much different types of gear you can get into this bag. So it is a very good sized bag, carries a lot of gear. The real purpose of this video is for me to talk a bit about alternate inserts for the bag. Stay tuned for more. Okay, here's a view of the F2 from above. And as I said uh, in the roll-in, I'm going to spend a bit of time talking about the design of the bag because I've never really done that before in my other um, what's in my bag demonstrations. So like a lot of Domkeys, this is made of canvas. It's not waterproof canvas. It's just regular old canvas. Uh, it's fairly soft. Um, Domkeys are known for being form-fitting, and this is no exception. Uh, one of the major features of the bag is these very large side pockets. Right now I've got a Hasselblad uh, back in there, in that one, and another one in this one. It's almost like these side pockets were made to carry Hasselblad backs. I, I really like carrying a Hasselblad kit in this bag. And then up front, it's got a couple of what I consider to be overly small pockets. I um, barely get my hands in there, but they're good for carrying odds and ends. It's a also blood uh, rear cover, lens pen, etc., etc. Now I've I've done a couple of other videos at least where I've dumped out the contents of the bag and kind of demonstrated it. What I'm showing here is the standard uh, insert, and you'll notice that it doesn't take the whole inside of the bag up. It just fits about three quarters of it. So this side is just left sort of with no padding at all on the sides. Underneath here is, I'll pull this out, the bottom is padded. And this is a really pretty stiff padding uh, in the bottom of the bag and that stiffens the bag to a degree. And so then the insert just fits on top of it. Now what I'll normally do is plop my Hasselblad over here and um, that works okay. Uh, I don't know why it doesn't bother me to just throw a Hasselblad in this side. Uh, without any padding, but when I go to put an SLR in there, um, I don't know, maybe it's because of the way the camera sits. I don't really like putting it in there. Let me give you an example. So I'm just going to throw this Nikon uh, FTN in here. And, you know, it'll fit, but there's something about the shape of an SLR camera that I just don't like the way it ends up in here. It's it's seems like with an SLR, there's always something sticking out, the lens, the finder, whatever. Whereas a Hasselblad is so square, I don't know. I'm okay with it being over there. That's just the way it is. There's really, you know, there's not much on the sides of a Hasselblad to uh, get banged up in here. So, long way of saying, I was basically happy with this insert, but I always wondered what else you could do with it. One thing you can do with this insert is you don't have to have it hard to one side. You can kind of put it in the middle. Some people do this, and I've done this when traveling. If you do it like this, for moving equipment around, it's pretty effective. You can uh, take the lenses off of your cameras. You could take two bodies, put them on the sides, put the lenses in the middle. And that works out pretty well if you don't mind putting your bodies in unpadded areas. So this is just an introduction to the sort of reason I started looking at other inserts. I was just curious, is there more you could do with the bag? So now I'm going to talk a bit about those other inserts. The first alternate insert I'm going to talk about is the so-called Siesta, spelled with a C, C-I-E-S-T-A bag. I believe these are made in China. Um, this is pretty much sized to fit perfectly in a Domkey F2, although I assume it will fit into other bags. So the features on this bag that are quite a bit different from Domkey's, uh, I think it should be pretty obvious to you. There's a lot of adjustability. We've got these dividers that are Velcroed. Every surface inside the bag will take Velcro. 
and you can basically configure this bag however you like. An additional feature of it is it's got this drawstring. This doesn't mean much to me. Uh, some people like this sort of thing. You can uh, sort of tie up this drawstring and protect the gear a little better, maybe if it's raining or whatever. So um, that's an additional feature that this bag offers that none of the other inserts, at least that I've seen, offer. So what I do, since I don't care about that, I just turn this down. And now I'm going to put this inside the F2. For this to fit right, you need to take out this pad. Fits yeah, almost as if it was made for the Domkey F2. Now it's not going to catch on the Velcro built into the Domkey because there's no Velcro on the Siesta insert. What are the pros and cons of this? Pros are it's more padded. There's tons of padding, no doubt about it. Another pro is you get a lot of adjustability and they've done something pretty smart on these inserts. You see how there's an extra kind of hinge there. So there's some flexibility with regards to how close together you make the walls in here and whether the dividers will fit or not. So it's pretty well thought out. But what are the downsides? Well, as usual, the more padding there is, the less room there is for stuff. So that's what's going on with this bag. It's got great padding. It's got this, um, this sort of rain cover or, or closure that you can close on it. So it's more stuff, but less room to carry gear. Now it works okay. I have it set up right now to hold a Hasselblad sitting straight up. The top closes just fine with that lens on. This is a 60 millimeter uh, lens, by the way. And uh, the top so close is just fine. It's floppy enough and has enough room that there's no problem. So that's the Siesta insert. Let's have a look at the other insert. Okay, this is a Domkey branded insert for the F2. And I think you'll find it looks a little familiar. It's got the same kind of thin padding. The difference is it takes up the whole inside of the bag. It comes with a P-shaped, a T-shaped divider, and it comes with two flat dividers. Let's throw it in the bag and see how it works. Um, one thing I want to point out is it doesn't fit the bag very well with the original Domkey pad in there, so I'm going to leave that out. It's kind of tall, as you can see. It's right at the edge of the height of the bag, which strikes me as a little odd. It seems like, see, it's it's like not meeting the Velcro perfectly. So it's I think what Domkey has done is made an insert that'll work in a number of bags, and maybe it doesn't fit perfectly into any of them. But it it gets enough contact that it gets held in there by the Velcro. Anyway, I have this one set up right now to easily hold my Hasselblad kit. Uh, I've left out this extra flat divider and uh, this will hold a Hasselblad kit really nicely. It, uh, you know, you lose two lens spaces but you gain sort of a, a random area over here where you can throw items. And one advantage I would say is over the original insert is what you end up with here if you want them to be lens can compartments, which I do, uh, you end up with a roomier lens compartment. Now in terms of a digital SLR fitting in here, I'm recording this video with my Sony a7 Mark II, so I can't throw it in here. Plenty of room for the big Sony a900 with a, a grip on it. Uh, I could move this divider over a bit and get it a little bit snugger. That's a 400 millimeter. There's a 70 to 200. So plenty of room here for good size lenses, or you can stack smaller lenses. Again, room over here for other incidentals, memory cards, filters, etc., etc. Uh, and everything's padded, unlike with the original, where you're going to have some space that's not padded. So by now you've got to be asking yourself, which one does he like better? Well, it's kind of a funny story. When I look objectively, or rationally, 
at the strengths of the Siesta bag, it seems like the better bag. It's got much more uh, adjustable dividers. The Dom key, in comparison, has this T-shape. There's really only one way to make use of that. And it's got two flat pads, or two flat dividers, and it's kind of hard. There's, there's no Velcro inside here to make other divisions. So it doesn't have a very flexible layout. The Siesta has kind of a brighter interior, so it's a little easier to see things. It's got a drawstring top. Uh, I think it's got, yeah, it's got more padding on the bottom than this guy. And yet, I find myself liking the Dom key better. And I think really it comes down to uh, Dom key's philosophy. I think I've talked about it in other videos. Domkey is not a big padding type of company. They do minimal padding. Minimal padding makes more room, like I was talking about with Siesta before. The amount of padding is great for protection, but it takes away from usable room in the bag. So I've really come down on the side of the Domkey as much as it surprised me. I, at first, when I first put it in the bag, it's like, eh, I don't know. They didn't think this through very well. But after I loaded it with different bits of kit, I decided, you know, I think it's really the best choice. So this Domkey insert is the one that I'm going to keep. So back it goes into the F2. And I'll keep my original insert and this one and give away the Siesta insert. So you've seen the review, you know the pros and cons. You decide if you want to win this thing in a contest. Follow the instructions in the description or you won't be entered. And uh, if you have a Dom Key F2, you'll have an alternate insert to try out. Uh, from what I've read around on the web, there are people that are shoving these into all sorts of bags, so it doesn't have to be a Dom Key F2, although I think it is pretty much designed to fit in one. So, good luck if you choose to enter. Catch you later.